Hello fellow modelers, this is me David and it's time for creation. I hope you like my recent airbrush, but there is one issue. I'm expecting if you will build the airbrush, then you will also need compressor. And this stuff is mostly more expensive than airbrush. But do not be sad, I have a solution even for this. So you don't need to spend something like $200 on your hobby compressor. And this is only a short bonus video, so it will be stay over. Because you can simply buy this pressure sprayer for garden herbicides for $10. And that is all. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Mm, no, just kidding. I will show you at least the connection to your airbrush and simple enchants which you can make. And maybe some tests. So let's start. I must say that it is not a joke, because when I started with the models, I used a similar pressure sprayer for 3 years and built a lot of models of it, so it is really usable and tested in practice. I bought a 5 liter container for $9, however available are also larger, so you can compress a more significant amount of air and pressure will last longer. I'm only removing air handle and reconnect the hose to my airbrush. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. The maximum recommended pressure is 43 psi, which is more than we need. I usually use 15 or 20 psi for my airbrush. The pressure sprayer has hand pump, so some exercise meanwhile making models is always good for health. So I'm trying to pump and achieve max pressure. It is not difficult, only one problem is that you will spray with the 43 psi and slowly get to zero. My old metal sprayer has an any air regulator and work like that, so the beginnings are always difficult. This is not what I recommend, because inconsistent pressure is sometimes tricky. Therefore I bought this China air regulator with a nanometer for $8. Thus you know how much pressure is in the bottle and you can set a consistent 15 or 20 psi pressure intake to your airbrush. You can use a garden water hose, connect it to your regulator and pressure sprayer. Fix position with a construction steel clamps. I am fixing pressure regulator with a two side adhesive tape on my table. This way you can comfortably monitor or modify pressure. And in the end I connected the second air hose to my airbrush. And that is all, so let's try it. You can see that I achieved 35 psi, and with the regulator valve I can easily set and reduce the pressure to 15 psi. Ok then, now test for airbrush and how long the pressure lasts. I emphasize that it is only a small 5 liter bottle, so if you will buy a large one the pressure will last longer, but on the other hand it will also take more time to pressurize it, so it is not win-win in this case. Ok, the pressure will last for more than 30 seconds, which seems like a short time, but I sprayed the whole wing and fuselage, so it is not so bad. 
I told you it was really straightforward, so I think it is perfect if you want to try airbrush and you don't want to spend a fortune on compressor. These days you can buy a good airbrush from eBay for $10 or so. Thus you can start spraying and making models very cheaply. So thank you for watching and see you next time.